what we went through, okay? So, steps to the sale. What would the first steps of the sale be? Meet and greet. Right. Meet and greet. Okay. So, what would the proper meet and greet be? Hello, my name is Lewis and you are? Okay. Anyone else? Welcome to Bueller uh, dealership. Yeah. My name is Walter Brown. What may I help you with today? Okay. What is your name? My name is Donna. Welcome to Bueller. What is your name? My name is Donna. Proper meet and greet. Welcome to Bueller Automotive. My name is, and you are. You get their names. You put out your hand. Whoever puts their hand out first, they're the dominant person. Yeah. If there's four people, two adults and two children, you shake everyone's hand. Get everyone's name. If you're bad with names, write it down and ask for permission if it's okay if you write down their names. Okay? Um, now, you're going to ask them if they're interested in newer pre owns. New or pre -owns. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's role play a little bit. Um, I'm interested in a new car. Take it from here. You're interested in a new car. Um, can I ask you, are you looking for an SUV or are you looking for a sedan or possibly a, a coupe? Well, I'm looking for something that um, is good on economy. I get good gas mileage. Um, that I do a lot of traveling. I don't really need a lot of space, but the trunk is important to me, so I can put my luggage in the back. Okay, great, great. Uh, is it, can I ask you what, what kind of car you're driving now? I'm actually driving a Ford Taurus. Got a Ford Taurus. Okay, that's great. All right. Um, have you have you seen our Ford Edges? The Ford Edge? Um, I haven't. That's an SUV, though, right? Yeah, it's it's, it's a crossover SUV. Uh, let, me, let me walk you over here, and I'll, and I'll show you. When we have one right here. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, th I think it might be able to suit your needs uh, from a standpoint of size. And like you said, it, it is an SUV. It's great on gas mileage. It's not one of the big eight-cylinder vehicles. And uh, they're very popular. Terrific. Now, that was great, considering that you don't have any product knowledge on Ford, okay? So, in my opinion, I, I don't, I would have probably shown them either the Ford Focus or mm -hmm. the Ford Fusion. Gotcha. But perfect example of what you did based on the limited product knowledge that you know, yeah. okay? Yeah. So now let's go through the points of the next step, right? What would you do next after uh, you pick out a car? Okay. Walk around. Walk around. You do your walk around, right? Now, as far as you walk around when you're explaining the car, what are you trying to emphasize the most through your walk around? Feature the building values. Building value, feature, advantage, or benefit, right? Everything has to have a feature, advantage, or benefit. If you have two small kids, to adults, obviously safety is going to be a major concern, especially if they're looking at a minivan, so you want to touch more safety points, right? Absolutely. So you're going to start your walk around out at what section of the of the vehicle? Out of the hood, okay? What are the, some of the things that you're going to explain underneath the hood? The bumper, all the things that all cars have with the collision with the bumper, you said. Right. I have it. Yeah, breakaway would, motor mounts. Yeah. The breakaway motor mounts. Uh, cylinder four, cylinder six, cylinder. Okay. Uh, and also go over the leaders. Yep. Anything else? Halogen, maybe better visibility if there are available. Right, if the car has halogen headlights, mm -hmm. you're going to get 60% better visi visibility than regular. Um, you're also going to go over your crumple zones, yeah. mm -hmm. your five mile per hour impact right, exactly. bumpers, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and also, you might want to touch on gas mileage at that point. Yes. Now, uh, after you go over the feature advantage and benefit, what would a question be that you would want to ask your customer at that point? In your current vehicle, are you are you leasing or are you financing? Correct. Are you leasing or are you financing your current vehicle? Exactly. Now you're going to put them into what side of the vehicle? The passenger side rear. Passenger side rear. Exactly. Now, when you put them inside the passenger side rear, if they're looking at um, a Ford Flex, what are you going to say? Let's role play a little bit and everyone can join it. The climate control you can talk about, the cup holders, the reheated seats, the room. room that you have, skis, golf clubs, right. you want to get You want to get some yeses, right? Yes. So if it has a lot of headroom yes. and they're a smaller guy, it has a lot of room, right? Entertainment system in the back. The entertainment system is if it has it. If you see it, you say it. If you don't see it, you don't say it, okay? Um, that's great. You And the most important thing, like I said, is that you want to go over how to install a child seat if they have a child. With the tethers and the latches, that's very important. As, and also, all the rear seats now have three-point seat belts, which is, which is a major safety uh, factor for, for, for the cars. Um, at that point, what kind of question would you want to ask them after you go over the feature advantage of benefit? 
I know that I'm only asking the questions that they can say yes to, right? No, I mean, like, you, you know, your qualifying questions. Oh, okay, well, I would begin to ask them about uh, how much they put down on their car, like the current vehicle that they have, and if they were looking to do that same amount or more or less uh, on this particular vehicle. Correct. I now, I wouldn't say less, right? Mm -hmm. I would say, how much money did you put down on your current vehicle? If they said 3000 mm -hmm. I would say, okay, are you looking to put down a little bit more, or are you looking to put down the same? Okay. Now, money down equals gross. The bank, depending on credit and also car, only allows a certain amount of money for based on the value of the car. But if you have a lot of money down, that increases the amount that you can sell the car for. So you always want to try to get as much money down as possible, okay? Whether it be a finance or a lease. So keep that in mind. Um, the next step of the walk around, you're going to go to the trunk. Right. Now, what are some of the things that you're going to say in the trunk? Spare tire, jack, blowing the door off the lease. Right, you're going to show them the spare tire, the jack, the spacious. You're going to make a joke. Hey, you can fit with four dead bodies, mm -hmm. depending on your report. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to be a little bit more conservative, so you're going to stand back a little bit and just show them uh, the features of it. The 60 40 uh, rear seats. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to know the space, so if they could fit a piece of plywood, mm -hmm. a 2 by 4 DJ's golf clubs. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Groceries. And also, you're definitely going to want to go over the glow in the dark uh, uh, trunk release. Um, and the advantage of that, if a child gets trapped in the trunk, they could see the glow in the dark release handle, pull it, and they can automatically get out of the vehicle. Okay? You also have the same thing as the front 5 mile per impact bumpers, crumple zones. And you're going to want to go over the advantages and benefit of that. So this way it doesn't go through the uh, rear window and into the passengers that are in the back seat. Absolutely. At that point, uh, what type of question would you want to ask them? Ask the customer what they, um, you know, what they like about their car and what they dislike about their car. Right, exactly. What they like about their car and what they dislike about their car. So this way you know what to guide them to inside their new car. Now, there's a big difference between a need and a want, okay? A need is, I need an SUV because I do a lot of traveling that's four-wheel drive because I'm always out in Vermont. A want is, I want the sunroof with navigation, rear heated seats, fully loaded, and chrome wheels that have 22-inch spinners. That's a want. You guys need to be able to separate the difference between a want and a need, okay? Um, now, keep in mind, people's budgets are people's budgets, okay? Everyone has the same budget. When you go shopping for a car, you know that you have $5,000 to put down and you want to spend $400 a month. Mm -hmm. But you also want a car that will suit all your needs and all your wants. Mm -hmm. If you set them up and you start showing them cars with less equipment that cost less, their budget still stays the same. But if you make them fall in love with a car that has those extra bells and whistles, mm -hmm and you present it right, people will pay more for it if you show them the advantages of it. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep that in mind, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Try to downplay the accessories, show them base models based on what they need the car for, mm -hmm. then upgrade them to the ones, but you have to make sure that you do the proper feature, advantage, and benefit pe uh, presentation so they know mm -hmm. the value and they want to pay more for it. Now,